Hey everyone. Um, so it's late. It's 12:30 at night, and uh, I just got back to the house. Um, today was going to be a fun day. Uh, we were having a like a little gathering because the Star Wars trailer is coming out today. Well, came out today. And we're all gonna go to a theater and we're gonna watch uh, Big Hero Six, and we're gonna be able to watch the theater in, like 3D or the not see the theater in 3D. That doesn't make any sense. See the tr Star Wars trailer in 3D, and then we watch a movie. And I know there was like a little public, and you know people were coming out from Niagara, and it was like a little mini gathering kind of thing. Um, but unfortunately, on the way there, um, uh, Saskia got the phone call. Um, the phone call of, as you can probably guess, her dad uh, passing. So we had to kind of turn around, obviously. Uh, and then, yeah, as you can imagine, it's a incredibly rough day. Saskia and I went down, spent time with her family and uh look you know just kind of be there for everything and yeah it's 12 30 and it's been it's been a day it's definitely been a day so i spent you know later afternoon to the evening there helping out and doing all that fun stuff uh and i left saskia there obviously so she's gonna spend time kind of look after things because there's a lot to do at this point um, so things are, things are okay, you know, as good as, as good as they can be, but, you know, everyone's doing all right, everyone's gonna be fine, everyone's making through it, um, you know, it was a short battle with, uh, cancer, it was only two months, maybe, well, yeah, about two months, uh, but Saskia's dad had cancer before, uh, and he fought it and he won, even though the doctors back like 12, 14 years ago told him that he wasn't, that, you know, he was, wasn't gonna make it 14 years ago. Uh, but he obviously didn't agree with that answer and he fought it and he won. And then, so now it's been 14 years and um, I know Saskia didn't really get into too much details about it, but uh, it wasn't just a little bit of cancer. It was, it was a lot, uh, so probably for the best that it wasn't a long drawn out process because it's just as painful and you know i don't really need to go into details about that but yeah saskia is gonna spend some time with her family and her siblings and they're gonna figure stuff out and you know i'm gonna go help her out whenever i can um be there for her and all that stuff but yeah <sighs> it's tiring it's a tiring day the thing that affects me the the most is, as you guess, I'm a pretty stable person. Uh, and I don't overly get emotional a lot, but the the hardest part of this to me, I mean, there's not compared to what other people are going through, but um, the hardest part for me is to see Saskia go through it. Right? That's that's the part that that gets me, and. Um, there was when we, well, when Saskia's dad went in months ago to the hospital, everyone kind of had that feeling of like, this could be, could be bad. Um, and then the, uh, it was like the two weeks before buffer or whatever, um, my alarm went off and uh, it was on the other side of the room. So I get up, I go to my alarm and, um, you know, you see the uh, dozen missed phone calls and the texts. And uh, the text was like, uh, it's my dad. He's like, hey, you have to, Saskia needs to call home. And uh, so now Saskia's still asleep. So I get back in bed. And then when I crawl back into bed, she wakes up. And, uh, you know, and she rolls over. And in that, there's that moment, you know, where she looks at you and she smiles. And it's like that first thing, everything's good. There's no stress about buffer. It's like that, that everything is perfect moment, uh, just with the smile and everything. And then I know, and so I smile back, and then I have to make the choice of what do I do? Do I tell her, or do I wait for her to pick up the phone? Uh, and that's, 
hard because I had to, well, I obviously told her I didn't wait because I think that's a little mean, but you know, I just kind of like put my hand on her shoulder and I was like, hey, I think you need to call home because uh, I think something's not good with your dad. Uh, but it's like moments like that, that I think are like, like the real hard parts. You know, that's that's an update on that. You know, it's it's okay. Everything worked out. Uh, I think everyone's agrees that it was for the best. You know, everyone got a chance to, you know, hang out with them, spend time with them. It wasn't a, a sudden thing. So I think you know, all things considered, uh, it's the lesser of evils, I suppose. So yeah, so that's today. Uh, but tomorrow is another day and another adventure. Uh, another day, another challenge, as a day storm would say. Uh, and tomorrow, Corey and Sam are off on their own adventure. And uh, while they're doing that, I think, you know, we're just going to leave the vlog with them. Uh, and they're just going to go. And you're going to see the Africa side of things. And it's just going to be really chill here, as you can imagine. There's really, you know, things are, we're just going to take things easy for a week. Um, so we'll get to see, I'm going to get to watch, which is the great thing about the vlogs, is because when Corey and Sam are in Africa, I don't have to message him because they're like six, seven, or eight. Uh, how many hours ahead is Africa? Well, Africa's a continent, and it's, a pretty, it's not a country. Malawi. Um, I think it's six or seven hours ahead. So I won't have to try to message and be like, hey, how's it going? Uh, I will be able to watch the vlog, just like everyone else, and uh, figure out what's going on. That's pretty neat. So I'll get to live the vlog vicariously through Corey. Uh, it's weird. It's like meta, if you think about it. Yeah, so anyway, so um, I'm going to go to bed. And um, I won't see you guys tomorrow. I won't see you guys for a week and a couple days. So yeah, be on your best behavior. Study. Good luck on your exams. Um, don't stay up too late. Wash, wash behind your ears, you know, make sure you have a balanced diet, breakfast, it's very important, cup of coffee, and uh, I'll see you later. Give me daily vlogs, I want them in my subscription box, I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey Home is where the vlog is